Hello everybody, it's Scott Wilson here and welcome to the next section and this is now going to be set on or sorry focused on doing a graphical or sorry heads up display. So we're going to work on actually bringing some of the, the values such as player health, uh, score, uh, so on and so forth to our interface to show us how much health we have, what's our score at. We're actually going to implement a scoring mechanic to the game. So let's get started. There's lots of ways of doing uh, graphical user interfaces and heads-up displays. And we're more focused on the heads-up display itself and the text that's actually going to be shown on the screen. So what's really important is that we actually, first of all, define our game aspect ratio. The game, or sorry, the view that's going to be played in the, the game itself. Uh, what I mean is the screen. So we've currently been using something called free aspect ratio. And you can see this underneath the game tab. It's called free aspect. However, whenever we're playing, let's say a console game or a PC game, we're typically using what's called a 16 by nine uh, ratio because that's the size of your computer monitor. It's typically wider than it is taller. Um, if you're on mobile, <clears throat> typically you are on something that's more vertical or if you turn it along or if you turn it um, landscape, then it goes into what's either a 16 by nine or four by three if you're on tablets. Typically, we're gonna be using 16 by nine because that's nearly the, the default standard. So if we click 16 by nine, our camera actually crops out um, a lot of the, the areas that you wouldn't see on the computer screen. So it obviously makes sense that we use this before we start implementing our heads up display because we could start putting text in areas that it's gonna be cut off such as here. So just something very uh, important to bear in mind that we use uh, 16 by nine. So with that, we're gonna start drawing some uh, graph or some uh, HUD elements. To do this, we're gonna to go to game object, create other, and we're gonna use something called uh, 3D text. This is something that I've been using with a lot of um, Oculus Rift development that I've been doing in Italy, and it seems to work very well. So what you can see is we have some text. It is actually uh, 3D text. We can look around it. Um, but it will just appear 2D because it is typically a flat plane, as you can see. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change its alignment because currently the pivot is up in the corner. What we wanna do is we wanna change the alignment to, sorry, the anchor to the middle center. And then what we want to do is we want to change the text and call this health, like that. We want to change the font type. Uh, we only have Arial actually, so just ignore that. Um, we also will notice, or you'll notice, that the font itself is extremely pixelated. It's really blurry. To fix this, we just increase the font size. So what this will do is it will literally increase the size of the font, but it will make it a lot sharper. So we're going to type in 512 into this, and then we're going to use our scale tool and scale it way, way down. So it'll be extremely sharp. And I might actually use 256 instead. It's probably a bit too extreme. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it on X by 30 degrees. So I'm just going to hold down control and bring it to 30 degrees. I'm just going to type in 30 exactly. So now in our camera view, it does look as if it's kind of facing you. You could rotate it around if you want and you can make it uh, look uh, the way you want it to look. The next thing you want to do is then position it so that it's where you want it to be. So in this case, I'm going to put it in the corner and I'm just going to move it up a shade, like so. Uh, I'm, I'm quite hating the, the, the white text, so I'm going to change this to, um, I'm going to change it to orange. And the reason why I'm changing it to orange is because it's pretty much the opposite color to everything else in the scene. Our scene typically consists of the green slash blue uh, hues. So something that is um, red slash orange will be um, the opposite color, sorry, uh, yellow and orange. So between yellow and orange is quite a high contrast col color. And that's what you need when it comes to um, any kind of text against backgrounds. So it's really important to have that. So here we have health in place. Might actually change that to uh, capitals, like so. And put that where I want it. Now, I am gonna change the name of the text. I'm gonna call this um, health. And I'm gonna attach this to my main camera. I don't want to attach it to my player where we'll get some really interesting results. Instead, I just want to attach it to my camera. So no matter where my camera is, uh, the health bar 
or this health text will follow it. Okay, so that's our health setup. We're also going to have score. So we are going to uh, find our health and I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate and I'm going to move this to the middle of the screen, roughly. I'm going to type in zero on X. Make sure my camera is also on zero. Perfect. I'm going to call this score. So with that, that is our text now drawn up. Um, I might just make them a, sh a tiny bit smaller. Like so. Because we don't want it to be in the way of our gameplay. And um, that's a really bad um, thing to have. That this is um, pretty much in the way of our gameplay. Because you want to still be able to see the game action. So with that, we're also going to add um, two more pieces of information in our uh, in our HUD. So that is literally the number that's right below it. So we're going to have numbers right below each one. So I'm going to duplicate both pieces, Control D, and then I'm going to go take my move tool, make sure I'm in global mode, and I'm just going to pull those down a shade like so. I'm going to click on the, the health here and I'm going to rename this to score value and I'm going to change the text to zero. Then I'm going to select health. I'm going to change this to health value. I need to have capitals because I'm quite OCD borderline. And under text, I'm going to hit zero as well. Now this looks slightly off, um, so I'm just going to move that across, like so. I might also change the, the colors of those numbers, just to make them stand out a bit more. I'm going to select both by holding down control, and I'm going to change the color. Um, you can also change the opacity, which I might actually recommend in a moment. Um, I'm going to change this to a suitable color. Maybe about there. I am going to select all four elements and I'm going to click on color. And under this A slider, A stands for opacity, which is the toggles how see through they are. I've actually just lost my color value, so I'm just going to undo that. I'm going to do the first two guys first and change the alpha value. So that's how see through they are. I'm going to make it about 200. Then I'm going to do the last two and make those 200 as well. Unfortunately, with these type of objects, we cannot apply materials to them. So just something to bear in mind, okay? Um, what we could try is selecting both pieces of text, the numbers, turning on local mode, and moving those maybe closer to the camera um, to get something that works. So I think that works very well. So really, it's up to you to position this how you want it to look. Just going to do a few more tweaks like so and I think I'm happy. It's really important that you also save your scene because this is you're editing your scene so it's really important to to do this with your your scene. Okay um, I just noticed something that says health and not score. That looks much better. Okay so you were probably screaming at me at that point saying you need to change the score you need to change the score. I've done it so here we go. With that, I'm going to save my scene and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye.